Hello and welcome to this month's Maggie Moment. Over the years I have had surveys done with teenage boys and for my latest book, Help Me Help My Teen, from both girls and boys. And what was interesting in my survey of over well over a thousand young people, 40% were boys, which was really impressive. So what do you think they want you to know as parents? Yep, I'm gonna give you um, a really quick summary of what they've said in those, those surveys. The first one is, they don't like being shouted at, they don't like being shoulded on, and I think that's such a good one, isn't it, that we should on people. Please don't should on anyone, let alone your teen. Uh, they don't like being frozen out. They don't like being uh, like drowned with too much, you know, are you okay every day kind of thing. Just checking in is okay. But what I really loved was the ones who said exactly what their parents were doing great. And there were so many of them. So I know so many parents are doing a great job, no matter how much they worry, how late they stay awake at night, worrying about their kids. Okay, so the big ones are, are you a safe person for me to turn to when I muck up? Another one is that it's normal for us to struggle at times in this journey, like validating, oh, I can see how that's really hard. Yeah, I get that. That's hugely important with our teens. Another big message that came through was, I'm not just my school grades. You're not your school grades. Do the best you can, but there's plenty of time. Life is a long journey. And I think that was such a big one, given that we know that the pressure around schools is featuring really highly in their psychological distress scales at the moment. So letting them know that they're not their school grade. Another one that was, was really beautiful was actually really listening. Now, I know you think you listen, but when you really, really listen, you're actually focused on what your teen is saying, not what your response could be next, because it's so easy for us to get into that trap. Oh, you need to say something smart here. No, you don't. It's about being able to be really, really heard. And in that space, can you hold a place of non-judgment and then so often there were teens saying, all I needed was me to have a really huge cry and a hug. That's all I needed. And I felt, wow, look at that, being able to get exactly what you need in the moment you need it the most because of the emotional roller coaster they're on. And then one of the other ones is, it came up in so many of the responses, I just need to know that my parents are going to love me no matter what after I get expelled, after I crash their car, after I get <laughs> vomit all through their car, after I fail my uni exam, doesn't matter what it is, they're going to love me no matter what. That is what they want you to know. And then my other challenge is, if you have you know, younger teens, you start sowing the seeds that if anything big ever happens in your life, I want you to call me or your dad, right? Because what we want kids to know is that any time something big and awful happens, we want their first reaction to be, call my mum, call my dad. Not, whatever you do, don't call my parents. And I worked a lot with really troubled teens in my early years after teaching. And when I heard that from a teen, can you call my mum or call my dad? Oh my gosh, I knew that teen was going to be okay down the track. So it's really tricky parenting in today's teen world, but that is what they want you to know of what they need from you every single day of this bumpy journey. And you know what? You've got this.